Here's how to create a simple profile picture like this using Canva. So before we dive deep into how to create your profile picture, let's first get you signed up for Canva. So go to canva.com and as you can see, Canva has a free version as well as a pro version. So depending on your budget, you can choose uh, whatever option that you like. I do have the pro version of Canva, but I'm going to show you how to achieve that same result using just the free version. So if you don't have the budget for the pro version right now at the time of watching this tutorial, don't worry, I'm going to walk you through how to achieve the same result. So go ahead and Canva to get started. Or if you already have a Canva account, go ahead and log in. So once you log into Canva, you should come to your Canva homepage. Uh, as you can see, I do have the pro version of Canva, but if you're on the free version, don't worry. As I mentioned before, I'll show you how to create that same design using the free version. Uh, so all you have to do now is you're going to click on create a design or custom size. Uh, for this design, what I did was I clicked on create design and now you can choose your canvas size. So um, this example is using the 1080 by 1080 like Instagram square post size. So if you want, you can go ahead and click on that. But if you want to create a custom size, just you know click on custom size and then type in your width and height. And then after that, just click create new design and that should open up your canvas so that you can design on that, on those dimensions. So I already clicked that. So I do have that already open on a separate tab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add a new page because we're starting from scratch. So the first thing that we're going to need is we're going to need a picture of you. Uh, with a nice bright background so for this you're gonna first upload your photo so hopefully you have a nice headshot of yourself um, for this example I'm just gonna use a stock image um, just to kind of show you where things are so you know exactly what to click so once you have your own photo you're gonna click on the uploads folder so let me just quickly show you how to do that click on uploads and then you can upload your file so once you upload your file it's going to be right here and then you can just click on it and that should bring that into your canvas i'm not going to upload my own photo because i'm going to select one from the photos uh, tab so i'm just going to go here and then i do have a photo that i like um, so if you're you know using camera for the first time you might see some images with a little crown on it and ones without a crown on it so if you're using the free version always choose images that doesn't have a crown because that is only for canva pro users so hopefully for this example you'll be using your own photo so that should matter so go ahead and you know once you upload it just click on your photo and that should bring that photo to your canvas so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the corner and then I'm going to nicely crop that in. So basically drag it to where you want and then stop and that should kind of crop it. And now to resize, just drag it from the corners and that should resize the image. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to position it right over here. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. And now, if you are using the pro version of Canva, the easiest way to remove the background is by doing this. So click on your image and now click on edit image. So if you're a Canva pro user, you should have an option called BG remover. So it has a crown on it. That means this is a paid feature. So when you click on this, Canva AI will automatically detect you as a subject and separate you from the background and remove it for you so as you can see it removed the background for me so that is super easy uh, you know using that ai feature and i can now nicely crop that and then position it however i like on my uh, canvas now if you don't have canva pro what you're gonna do is this so let's say that i'm just gonna open a new um, canvas and I'm gonna add that same photo just to kind of show you how this works I'm just gonna drag it like this 
as you can see this one is fully um, fitting the background it has that like peach background that I would like to remove so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click share and then I'm gonna click download uh, select PNG right and now I'm gonna select the page I want to download I'm gonna select page 4 and then click download so once you do that it should be in your downloads folder so before we jump into that let me show you a cool app that you have access to inside of Canva that would allow you to remove the background so what you're gonna do is on your sidebar click on apps and then you will have the option to select or use any of these apps there's so many to choose from but go ahead and type in background eraser and then you're gonna go ahead and click on this app right here so you can use this app on the free version of canva so go ahead and click on upload file and now you can see I have that file that I just downloaded from Canva. So I'm going to click on the file and then click open. And now click on remove background. So give it a few minutes and Canva will then automatically remove that background using AI. So very similar to that other pro feature. Um, it's going to do a pretty good job. Let me just show you uh, the, the difference between the Canva Pro and then using this free app. All right, so once it's done, you can see that it removed the background and did a really good job at that too. So now I don't need this one, so I'm gonna select that and then press delete on your computer and just adjust it uh, to your canvas like we did before. So you can see that this is the pro version of Canva and this is using that app. So I'm located in the United States, so there might be reasons this app may not be available on your Canva depending on your location or region. So I want to give you another very helpful tool that you could also use and that is called remove.bg. So all you have to do for this is go to Google and then type in remove.bg and then you should get access to a website like this. So just click on the very first organic search result which will bring you to a page like this so then all you have to now do is upload that photo so i'm just going to show you how to do that quickly so click on upload image and then i'm going to click on the image open and then it's going to automatically remove the background for you so this is very similar to what canva did with its pro feature as well as that other app i showed you but if you don't have access to the app, you can just use remove.bg instead. And now all you have to do is download that and then upload it to Canva like we did uh, earlier when we uploaded, uploaded our own image. So that's basically how you remove a, an image uh, if you don't have access to Canva Pro. All right, now that we have your image without a background, let's add a nice background to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to photos and then uh, in order to get a colorful background, you can type in colorful gradient. And then you can see that there are really nice gradient options that you could choose from. This background color can actually be your brand color. So if you don't want to have a nice, uh, like a bright background, it can just be a background color for you. But I just wanted to, you know, show you different options of doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and select a background from the search results. And for this example, I'm just going to choose a free background. So I'm going to go with this one. This does not have a crown on it. So this is free to use. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that background. And now all you have to do is make sure that you're on the background photo, right click, and then select set image as background. And once you do that, it's going to set that image as the background image and then put that image of you or the subject in front of it. 
So now that we have that, I'm gonna go ahead and just like nicely adjust it. Now you can go ahead and download that as a PNG. So in order to do that, you're gonna click on share and then click download. Make sure you have PNG selected. So if you have JPEG, um, the quality is a little bit higher on a PNG. So I'm gonna go ahead and select PNG and then select my page. So I have page three selected and then I'm gonna go ahead and download it. And once you have it downloaded, you're gonna go back to uploads and then you're gonna upload that file. I'm not gonna do that because I already have it in my library. So um, make sure you do that step. Now is the fun part. So I'm gonna show you how to create an actual pop out effect frame. So first you're gonna go ahead and click on elements and then type in circle frame. So once you do that, you should have all these different frame options. So click on see all and you can choose not just a circle frame. If you wanna go with like a square frame or any other frame, you can just select one from here. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and select this one right here. So it's in a different position, don't worry about it. Just select the one that has like the green outline. And I'm going to go ahead and adjust it to my canvas like this. All right. So um, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to uploads. And we're going to drag and drop. So we're going to select that image that we just brought in, drag and drop it to your frame. So it's going to fill your frame with your photo. And now what we're going to do is you're going to click on the image. And then you can see that when you click on it, you can make the entire frame bigger. But if you want to just reposition the photo, what you're going to do is you're going to double click on the photo. Once you double click on the photo, you can see that you can adjust the position of the photo. So what you're going to do is you want to make sure that the head of the subject is out of the frame like this. So, you know, adjust it to however you like. If you don't want to have a pop out effect, you can just, you know, stop here. But I just want to show you, you know, how to create a more dynamic image for social media. So once you're happy with how that looks, just click on done. You can see that her head should come out of the frame like that. And now let's get rid of this really ugly green border. It doesn't really go with the photo. What I wanna create is I wanna create the outline, the same colors as the gradient that is in the background. So let me show you how to do that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the frame and now you will have two different colors. You have the green, which is this color right here. And then you have the white, which is this color. So in order to change that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the color and then you have that green. So now what we're gonna do is click on the little filter icon. That should open up a panel like this that will give you the ability to change the color. So use this little color picker to select a color from your photo. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this pink and then we want not a solid color, we want this to be a gradient. So you're gonna click on gradient and then the second color, we're gonna use a color picker and then choose a nice light orange from the background like this. All right, so you can see now that it kind of went into that instead of solid color, it is now a gradient color. So if you want to change how that looks like the direction of the gradient, so you can just select a style that you like. So if you select this, you can see that it slightly changes the angle of the gradient. So play around with it and choose whatever gradient option that you like. I'm just going to keep it uh, at the very first style, which is a linear gradient. So I'm just going to keep it as is. And then I'm going to also select the second color and then choose the same gradient style so that it will be applied to the entire border. So that's how easy it is to create a 
nice profile picture but what I want to show you is how to create that nice pop out frame effect so in order to do that I'm gonna first lock this layer in uh, so that remember earlier when we dragged the photo on top of the frame it just like clipped it to the frame we don't want that to happen so uh, you can go ahead and lock this so I'm just gonna select this all of it together and then click on lock that should lock it in place you can see that it's fully locked um, you can also bypass locking this by uh, when you uh, drag a photo if you just click command or control if you're on a, a Windows computer it won't clip it to the frame but um, since you're just getting started on camera I don't want to complicate this so just go ahead and lock it and that should save you that headache so uh, now that it's locked in what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring that same photo and then this time I'm gonna go ahead and remove the background so if you already have that image uploaded onto your uh, uploads folder without the background just use that version instead um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and align this to the original photo so this will take a little bit of practice. Uh, I know it took me a little bit of time as well, but what we're gonna do is basically make sure that it is aligned perfectly to the bottom photo. So once you align it to the original photo, all you have to do is crop it like this so that you have that pop out frame effect. So for an example, if I crop it like this, you can see that one, it is aligned to the original, but if I crop it up like this, or if I reveal the photo up, it's gonna show that image out of frame. So that's basically how easy it is to create this type of effect. It will take a little bit of practice just to align that photo to the original, but besides that, this is how easy it is to create this type of pop-out effect using Canva. So now all you have to do is click share, and then you can download this. So if you don't have the pro version of Canva, just do the same thing as I explained earlier. If you want to remove the white background, just go to remove.bg or use that Canva app and then you can remove that background if you're on the free version. But if you're on the pro version of Canva, just click on transparent background and that should give you a nice uh, transparent um, photo with just what you created on Canva. And then you can use this on your social media, you can use this on your website, landing pages, or even as a profile picture for any of your email signatures, business cards, whatever, you know, whatever you like. So yeah, that's how easy it is to create this. I know this was a little bit of a longer tutorial. If you wanna see this faster, I do have a YouTube short that kind of goes over everything step-by-step step under 60 seconds which i will link to this video i hope this was helpful and if you like this exact camera template i will link in the description on how to get this template for free there are so many things that you could do on canva so if you love to learn more about canva as a complete beginner make sure to hit that subscribe button because i'll be uploading more camera tutorials like this in the future until next time, I'll see you in the next video.